yes it has started hitting our urban slums and formal settlements in many parts of the world um we've also heard reports coming in from um refugee camps in Greece that are affected by the covid-19 situation the environment and life generally in slums puts people at a higher risk if we look at our refugee camps for example um the living conditions as i said are not easy physical distancing is nearly impossible um hand washing i mean in in a lot of these slums that we're talking about people do not have access to clean and safe drinking water um so imaginably all of these um guidelines become an extremely challenging factor um i think right now a number of efforts are being done both led by governments and non-governmental organizations both international and local there's a lot of campaign there's a lot of messaging people are using social media to sort of reach out to as many people as possible across different groups um however the question is is that enough and i think there are a number of restrictions in daily life from different governments that may hinder the response and access to some of these resources and there's very little being attention paid to sort of the human rights and dignity of vulnerable populations in many cities i think global pandemics require global collaborations we really need to share knowledge data financial and other resources that will be really key to protecting our vulnerable populations um we need to really act now otherwise it's going to be unmanageable if this explodes in any of these places it's we're talking of millions of lives at risk